The tiniest worms can play the biggest roles. Nematodes may help us complete our understanding of evolution. We are using nematodes as a model system to understand the role of developmental plasticity for evolution and for the generation of novelty. So developmental plasticity is the phenomenon where during development you can have environmental input which will result in extreme cases in even alternative outcomes such as we see this in our nematode where you have two alternative mouse forms. One mouse form has a single tooth and as such this worm is a bacterial feeder. In the alternative mouse form it builds up two teeth and as such it can not only feed on bacteria or fungi it can also kill and subsequently consume other nematodes and we are interested to understand how how the environmental factors feed in in controlling this developmental decision. We want to understand the molecular mechanisms and we want to understand what the long-term role and significance of such processes is for evolution. Pristioncus pacificus, the nematode made famous by Ralf Sommer, lives an interesting life. What is special about Pristioncus is that these nematodes are reliably found in soil and reliably found in association with scarab beetles. The nematode associates with the adult beetle in an arrested form, the so-called dawa larvae, and these nematodes just fly around with the beetle. And when the beetle dies, the nematodes start to come out of the dawa stage once bacteria and fungi grow on the beetle carcass. And then the nematode has to get ready to reproduce as much as possible and then to leave in time to get a new vector with which it can fly out. Ultimately, Zama wants to help expand evolutionary theory. In order to have a full understanding of evolutionary processes, we have to integrate development and the environment and we believe that developmental plasticity is the phenomenon that will allow us to do this. For young researchers it will never get boring in the Department for Integrative Biology. We are a highly integrative uh, department from outdoor ecology, nematology, insect science, all the way to hardcore genetics, developmental biology, molecular biology, and uh, computational biology modeling by now. And uh, what I do with my graduate students is I study a number of uh, different processes. And then in addition, the postdocs in the lab can do whatever they want as long as it is with my work.